Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 11. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about query string routing. In the previous lecture, we had seen that how can we make our parameterized routing. Those routings are SEO friendly as well as user friendly. But inside this video, we are going to discuss about query string variables. Now if I back to browser, copy this URL back to slide and if I pasting it here, so in the last video, what we had discussed, let's say that this is our URL and we have a route something about us. So in that video, we have passed our parameters something like value 1, value 2, value 3 and so on. Also, keep in mind while passing these value, we have to actually keep in mind that what type of data we need to pass here. If suppose we have defined the placeholder as num, it means this value is going to accept only the numeric value. If suppose we have defined the placeholder alpha for this value 2, it means value 2 is going to accept only alphabetic characters. But this time, inside this video, instead of such type of routing, instead of that, we are going to pass our values in query string variables. Something like question mark value 1, we have some value m% to concatenate our other values. So value 2, this is some other values. And one more thing, while doing such type of query string variables, we are totally independent of data type of these values. Means inside value 1, we can pass any value, we can pass any value inside this value 2. Let's see all these things in action. Back to editor. Here we are currently on routes.php. What I will do, simply let's say routes, get I'm going to find let's say query param. This is our simply the route name. And in the second, we need to pass the controller name, let's say site controller. And we are going to create a method with the name of let's say query param. Save this route, copy the method name, go to controller file, and inside that this file we are going to create that method. So public function. Here we have the function name called query param and inside this simply let's pass a static message within h2 selector welcome to query string value now if you save these files copy the route back to browser pass index.php and let's say query hyphen param and this is our static message. Now this time we are going to pass some value in query string let's say name equal to Sanjay and the channel we are passing here let's say online web tutor. But this time we are not accepting any value so that's why we are not getting any value of these params right here inside this page. So let's go ahead inside this method and handle about all the query string variables and their values. So what I will do, if we want to get all the query string variables or the values, we have this request get var method. Now what I will do simply let's say print r. If we are printing all the values into the screen, save this file, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that inside this URL, currently we are passing all about the name and the channel. And by the help of this request get var, we are getting an array. And inside this array, we have two key value pairs like name equal to Sanjay and channel equal to online web tutor. Now if we want to read any specific value inside that, so we have two options, one by using this request get var and other that we will store these values inside a variable and by the help of that variable we can access that value. So let's see all about these steps. So this request get var 
and inside this get var method simply pass the means query string variable name what value we are getting so save this file go and reload this page and as we can see that the name value its value here and we are getting this value here now in case if we are interested to get this channeled variable so save this file reload and here is the value now this is all about the first option now if you're not interested to do such type of thing what I will do let's say values equal to get where it means we are storing this array we are storing this complete array inside this variable and by the help of this array variable let's say values and inside this array we have the name index so if I save this file go and reload this page and here we are getting all about the value if suppose we want to get the channel name copy that key pasting it here all we are getting the channel name now next question we have that how can we pass our query string values to our view file so simply as we know that this is an array or we can make a separate array for that so if we are calling a view file return view here we have something a view file and inside this view file if we want to send our query string values either we can pass simply values inside this second parameter because it is an array or else we can make like name channel and here what I will do let's say this request get where we have name as a key and for the channel again this request let's say get where and here we will have channel as a key so by doing this we are passing these values inside this view file so by the help of this video session and also by the help of previous video session we are not totally under control about our parameterized value over our routes we can handle either this type of route or we can handle this type of route so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day